Hey gang, it's DJ here. Just want to hit you guys up with a quick hint and tip video about mounting tripods in a trailer. So this is something that I was thinking about, and I don't know why anybody has to think of it first. I don't know. I've never seen it. If you guys seen someone else do it, hit me up and let me know. But I've never seen anybody do this. I can't believe it. Um, but it works. So if you've got a tripod, you're a DJ, one of the things we always run into is how do we mount our tripods in a trailer? And I've seen DJs, you know, when they have the Venos trailers, give you the extra two feet, which is awesome. They'll mount a support bracket here and a support bracket there and then get like a bungee cord or wire something. And then they'll just put all their tripods right in the middle of the trailer and just bungee them tight all right in the middle. Um, so I've been looking for a system that's nice and neat, that just looks sexy and attractive, and that's easy to get their tripods in and out. They're not all bunched up, falling all over the place all the time, and you can really come in and just pick what you need. So here's what I came up with. You've got these O-rings for E-Track in the trailers. I've got E-Track up top for tripods. I've got E-Track on the bottom for bottom support, for you know, speakers, anything, everything else, just a standard E-Track system. So this is a five by 10 trailer with the extra two feet up front that really brings you to about 12 feet. Um, so, you know, here's what I do. So with that said, you've got the O-ring here, you've got the speaker stand. And a lot of people don't know it, but the O-ring, at least the O-rings that I have, literally fit right over the top of the stand. And that is awesome. So, just drop it on your stand. Let's put this bad boy in the trailer. All right, so all you do, put your tripod up against the wall. Grab that O-ring. There's your E-track. E Pop it up in there. Grab the handle. Slide it in. That bad boy is locked in. That ain't going nowhere. That is all the play that it has, which is awesome. And then all I do at the bottom is once I get about four or five tripods on that E-Track, go down there, grab another bungee cord, put it on the bottom there, and just lock all your tripods together, secure them down together. That makes it nice and tight at the bottom, and none of your tripods move, and you have a very easy system for getting your tripods in and out. To get them out, all you do is take the bungee out the bottom. Then you can literally pick which tripod you need to use for your gig. And here's how fast I get that O-ring off. Ready? Count it. Done. Pull it off the top. Grab your tripod. That's that quick. So that's a really quick and easy system for mounting your tripod, guys. When you say, hey, DJ, but... What if I've got a crank up tripod that's just too big and bulky? And if you see here, this is just the pull up here and that goes to the easy track. And this is taller than my easy track and you've got that cranking assembly that's gonna be in your way. Well, as you can see, got my handy dandy bungee cable right there with all the holes in it. So all you do, You can take this end of your bungee cable, just hook it into the side of your E-Track. And then with the holes here, you can just put your pin in one of these holes here and literally tighten your E-Track to the wall where it'll fit. And that'll keep it nice and snug up against the wall. The other thing you can do, which you can do, I don't recommend, but you can just put your easy track back on the wall here. And if you have those stands that have the uh, scrim holders, put your tripod up against the wall, loosen up your scrim holder, just hook it onto that easy track, take it all the way up as far as it can, and just lock it down. It's another way to do it. And once you secure it at the bottom, see, that's as far as it's gonna move. Now, once you secure it at the bottom, that ain't going nowhere. So that's another way to do it. I don't like it because you're going to be putting stress on this little lip here. But that is another way to do it. If you got a metal, metal one here, 
maybe that's another easy way to kind of get you in and out of there. So that's a couple quick tips for you guys on securing your tripods in a trailer. If you guys are worried about scratching your tripods, all you do is get a little piece of electrical tape and you can line, you can get a little piece of electrical tape, you can line this part of the O-ring or if you know where you're always going to have your tripod mounted in your trailer, just put a little piece of electrical tape around your tripod, raise it up to that height and then that way it gives you a visual cue of how far you need to raise your tripod and you're good to go and your tripod won't get scratched up so it does leave a little bit of scratches on your tripod but not a whole lot nothing more than regularly used that you're going to have anyways so hit me up with what you guys do hit me up if you got any ideas and uh i've got another idea i'm just kind of holding off to showing you guys this because uh you know, I may actually end up patenting it, building it and patenting it and uh, selling it. So I don't want to put that out in the uh, internet verse just yet. But uh, if I get that up and moving, I'll show you guys a little bit later. So tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys got for systems. Um, let me know if you've seen this before. I've never seen this before. I don't know why anybody hasn't thought of it. Quick and easy makes getting in and out of your trailer great. And it makes your tripods look great when they're mounted. I've got the other one mounted over there. It's not strapped down on the bottom, but... Don't forget to hit that rate and subscribe button, guys, and let me know what you guys do, and I'll hit you guys up with some more hints and tips later. This is DJ. Peace.